half an hour for the third night in a row, protesters gathered along the Sarasota Bayfront to show support for Cuban citizens. Yeah, more than 100 people from all over the Sun Coast showing up tonight. More trying to get there, but police did block, block off the road so that protesters could protest safely, but it kept some from getting there. And SNN's Annette Gutierrez was there and shows us the message that they want to be heard. We've never seen anything like it. Thousands are on the streets in Cuba fighting for their rights and their freedoms. And more than 100 people here on the Sun Coast are doing the same, supporting their family and friends from afar. They're crying out, if Cubans are taking to the streets, so are Sarasotans. We are not afraid for our life here, but they are there, and they are paying with their life. People are dying, children are dying. For more than 60 years, Cubans have been repressed from their government. My people from Cuba and here, the exiles are finally tired of the dictatorship, the Castro regiment, everything that they've done to starve our families. There's no medicine, no food. My sister's dad is dying in a hospital's hallway. We got to stand up for them. From Cuba to America, people are demanding change and seeking an end to the communist regime. People are risking their lives, not only their lives, but their children's lives and their families' lives because they're tired of the communism. They haven't been able to like eat with the whole COVID thing. and They're like dropping like flies and the government doesn't care. The island is facing an internet blackout. They shut it down so the war cannot see how they kill their people. Protesters want the U.S. government to act. Sarasota police officers were present, making sure things remained peaceful. In Sarasota, Annette Gutierrez, SNN, the Sun Coast News Network.